Today we're celebrating uh, the Governor's Technology Awards and we're recognizing individuals, organiza organizations, and educators on uh, how they've used technology uh, to help with the economic development of uh, the state of Louisiana. Uh, this is the, I believe, the ninth year that we've done this. Uh, this is always a special occasion for me because we get to recognize not only the nominees but also the award winners who have brought technology to another level. I'm also proud to introduce, uh, many of you know him, he is our uh, board chairman, recently took over for uh, John Kelly, but you know Mike Olivier as uh, former Secretary of Economic Development for the uh, State of Louisiana and also as Executive Director for the Committee of 100. Please welcome your LTC board chairman, Mike Olivier. The Louisiana Technology Council started as the New Orleans Technology Council way back in 1994 and in 2002 went statewide. When I was uh, Secretary of Economic Development, I promoted that they go statewide. I'm glad to be in this position today so that I certainly can continue to push that as we move to a statewide footprint. And the vision of the Technology Council is to attract and facilitate and disseminate technical knowledge about the skills of technology, the applications of technology, in order to enhance the business growth and career development of our members, our businesses, and the state of Louisiana. And one of the things you'll be seeing us promoting that's coming up in October is the BizTech Expo. Again, joining forces with groups who are here in the private sector and the public sector to produce programs that really make a difference in Louisiana relative to technologies. And so today we're here to celebrate some successes that many of our companies and individuals have had. And these awards are in recognition of the many organizations and people who've contributed to the growth of the technology industry. And they feature the work and the important technology applications being made by Louisianians throughout the state. And a main reason why Louisiana was one of the top three states in technology employment over the past two years. And so in working with Louisiana Technology Council, the members and our great executive committee, our vice chair Robert Shreve, our, our president Mark, and the many people who make up, the many members who make up the Louisiana Technology Council, we look forward to further expanding our statewide presence. We look forward to establishing partnerships all across the state, especially with economic development organizations and chambers to help with the technology development in their respective regions. And you'll see more about that as we go through this year and into next. And we hope to identify and promote Louisiana technology assets across our state and the country, promoting how Louisiana has grown through technology. And certainly we want to educate folks about technology issues and be we want to be an advocate for economic development incentives for technology applications encouraging more companies to do business in Louisiana and grow companies through technology across all of the industries. And today we're very fortunate to have in our midst the governor of the state of Louisiana with whom um, we want to also recognize by giving an award in appreciation of his support to the council and our mission. So with that I'm going to not waste any time and ask Governor Bobby Jindal and if you would all please welcome the governor of the great state of Louisiana. And well, you weren't supposed to know this. <laughs> And so in appreciation of outstanding support of Louisiana's technological industries, we present to this to Governor Bob Jindal this date, June 29, 2011, for all of the support he gives to technology applications and the Louisiana Technology Council. Governor Jindal. Thank you very much, Michael. I'll put this over here for you tonight. Yeah. Thank you all very much. I want to start off first of all thanking Michael and Mark for their tremendous leadership here at the LTC. I want to thank you for your support for this very, very important organization. I want to talk to you today about the importance of the work you do every day, the companies you support every day when it comes to economic development right here in Louisiana. I've said from the very first day since I've become governor that economic development was going to be our top priority. And I want to talk to you for a few minutes about economic development, but then I really want to specifically talk to you about the role that technology-based companies and innovation play in the future of Louisiana. Let me start with economic development in general. 
We said on the very first day that we've got to stop exporting our greatest assets. Our greatest export, it's not the oil, the gas we drill, it's not even the crops we grow. For too many years, our greatest exports have been our people. For 25 years, Louisiana was the only state in the South that consistently sent more of our sons and daughters out of this state more quickly than they were moving back into Louisiana. Indeed, I've seen it firsthand. It's not just a statistic. My wife and I both graduated from great public high schools right here in Louisiana. And when we've been to our high school reunions, too many times when you see your friends after so many years, you find out that they're now living in Texas, Georgia, and other states. We graduated during the, the last big recession that really hit our state, the oil bust in the 1980s. And the challenge is, is that when young people leave to find better educational or work opportunities, too often they don't come back. What might be a temporary visit to another state becomes permanent as they put down roots, they get married, they have children, and before you know it, what became a one-year job becomes a 20-year stay in a different state. Too many of our families in Louisiana only see their children and grandchildren at Easter or Christmas instead of being part of their children's lives every day and every week. This year, the recipient for Rising Star of the Year goes to Twin Engine Labs. Please come up. Uh, it's, it's pretty surreal being here right now. We started our company uh, last year in September. Uh, it was going to be just my brother and I. Um, I'll let him tell you about his experience getting pulled back into Shreveport. But uh, uh, we grew to uh, 11 employees total now. Uh, and uh, we're just kind of hanging on to the rocket. And um, appreciative of all the great support we've gotten from the community here. Uh, you know, if we had started anywhere else, there would be about 200 other shops waiting for us to die. Uh, in Louisiana, everybody is wanting us to succeed, so it's pretty amazing. The recipient of this year's Innovator of the Year Award goes to Ameticis Patrick Thompson. Uh, first of all, thanks for the award. We uh, really appreciate it. I got a great team here who really made this happen, Dave Monique and uh, Pete Hartley, our CTO. Uh, they're, they're the ones that really made this award happen for us. But more importantly, our customers, which are our physicians, really drive our solution. So it's a physician that is developed and designed for the physicians uh, to take care of our patients. And that's what we're really all about at Emeticis, is taking care of people at home um, that are homebound and uh, using technology to prevent them from being rehospitalized. Um, and through our technology, with a bi directional feed between our 12,000 clinicians in the field and our 120,000 physicians we work with uh, on an annual basis, uh, we provide that type of intelligence real time uh, to prevent uh, someone from being rehospitalized. So that's what. Mercury Doc is all about, but again, we owe it to our customers, our patients, and these two guys, and the team members uh, that are here with me today, and the executive management team led by Bill Bourne. So we appreciate the award. Thank you. We have a second winner for the Innovator of the Year Award, and we're going to do that now. I'm not going to go through uh, the names again, but I want you to be aware that we had such a great quality of nominations, we decided to offer a second award. And the recipient of this year's Innovator of the Year Award also goes to Touch Studios. Neil, Suss, and Jameson Quab. First of all, I want to thank, the, thank Mark and thank the governor here. Uh, this is a wonderful event. We're honored to be here. I uh, also thank the governor for making such a great environment for business. It's helped us a, a lot, whether it's the competitive pricing we can offer because of the credit or the talent we're getting because of it. Um, a lot of people talk about the value of the team and how integral it is for the success of a company beyond just the entrepreneurs that start it. But I think our case is actually a little bit unique. You know, in the course of an average day, uh, our developers have to, you know, sometimes work on an enterprise level insurance web application and then flip around and design Contra for the uh, iPhone, you know. And so I think it's a challenge that uh, a lot of teams don't necessarily have to face. And that's why I think, you know, our team is really top notch, really ha great, happy to have them. Um, and I just think, uh, secondly, I think that this is going to be a big year for us, you know, going forward. We move from being a non-virtual company, a virtual company, I should say, with all GNO based employees and some in Baton Rouge, um, but all off-site, to a non-virtual company having one office, which I guess normal companies call normal. But uh, it's been an interesting transition, but we're excited about the growth that's going to ensue. And uh, yeah, we're just really happy to be here and we're looking forward to the future. So look for great products from us, games, uh, utility apps, you name it. The recipient of this year's University of the Leader of the Year goes to 
Dr. Kenneth Ellerston, who I believe is represented by his wife, Susan. I'm not Ken, I'm Susan, his wife, and uh, he can't be here today because he's in Washington, D.C., attending a biotech conference. He's going to be so disappointed, but um, I know that he truly wants to thank his company, New Potential, and I'm going to just read them. I know them, they're like family to me, but I would be so disappointed if I, I left out anyone. Letty Harkins, who's with me today, thank you, Letty. Dr. Zhang Rim, Dr. Yarek Staskovitz, and Mr. Christian Barnes. Um, I know he wants to thank Joe Lovett um, and the LA One Fund, Richard Montgomery, Ross Barrett of Familios, and Justin Oblitz of Louisiana Tech Park. And finally, um, Dr. Clark Bouchard, Dr. Ann Jarrett, and Mr. Bill Sylvia of Pennington Biomedical Research Center. He will be so pleased when I text him in a minute and let him know he has won this. Thank you. <laughs> Our uh, Technology Leader of the Year. Our uh, nominees are Deborah Bowers with Barrister. Uh, GBKs with the Cyber Innovation Center, Brandon Former, Foreman with IES Solutions, Bondal and Jolly with Emerge, and Terry and Dale Viola with AIX Solutions, Education Solutions. The recipient of this year's Technology Leader of the Year goes to Bondal and Jolly with Emerge. Hi. I'd like to uh, start by thanking the governor and everyone else who is involved with our uh, digital tax credits. We love them, so thank you so much for making that a reality for us. <laughs> um, our company is just on an amazing roller coaster ride. Um, literally started out of a spare bedroom in my house, and now we are in the process of opening regional sales offices all across North America. And um, we're keeping our core competency in Louisiana, our development, our creative, and our administrative offices are based here, and we are committed uh, to continuing that process. And, and you never know uh, where we're going to be and what's going to happen in the future, but we're staying here. And uh, if you don't know who Emerge is, um, we're an interactive uh, marketing platform um, that combines email, social, mobile, and text media all together. And if you don't know who we are, don't worry, because we're going to be a household name before you know it. So thank you all so very much. All right, we have one more award winner, and that's our Technology Company of the Year Award. Uh, the, the award nominees for this category are AXI Education Solutions, Cox Business Louisiana, my Phone MD, NMD Incorporated, Touch Studios, and Universal Data Incorporated. This year's recipient of the Technology Company of the Year goes to AXI Education Solutions. Wow. <laughs> I could never have imagined three years ago, or actually um, in August of 2005 that we'd be standing here today, but that has to do with post-K, post-Katrina. After Katrina, Apple Computer wanted me to move to Atlanta, and this lady next to me, Terry, said, absolutely not. We are staying in Louisiana and we're rebuilding. And it took us a while, but we began to really focus on where we felt we were blessed, and that was with our children in the state, the education, and a seed corn for the future of this state. Your future employees, that's where we work. And I can't express enough thanks to the teachers, the administrators, you and your sons and daughters, and all of the contributions that you make to your schools and your communities to make these schools a success and to really turn around education in the state of Louisiana. We've worked with a lot of great people, a lot of great um, foundations, the Cisco Foundation, the Supriya Jindal Foundation, the Gates Foundation, uh, just one after another, and they've all said one thing, the spirit of the people of Louisiana is what keeps them coming and keep coming back. And thank you so much for everything you've done. The Louisiana Technology Council is a nonprofit group that's primarily responsible for economic development of the technology industry across all industries. So we're made up of uh, about 270 member companies designed to provide uh, education and network opportunities for those who want to take and use technology to their competitive advantage. AXI Education Solutions is located in Covington, Louisiana, uh, and we deal strictly with the interactive classroom technology for schools in the state. 
We have about 38 employees at this point, and we're excited for what's happened here today. What was your reaction when they called out your name as the winning company? Wow. Uh, in the past three years, it's been quite a ride, and we have just been very blessed with what's happened. We have about 14 employees right now. Uh, we're looking to expand though, and mostly our work is custom development for iPhone apps. Uh, we do iPad apps. We also have a product called AppMaker that is a CMS system to develop out iPad apps, or uh, iPhone apps and iPad apps. What was your reaction when they called out your name as the winner? Um, I was excited. Uh, you know, they, uh, they actually had two awards for this category, so I was really surprised, uh, particularly surprised in seeing that they actually had two winners. Um, but I'm really excited and I'm just proud of my team and uh, just happy that we won. We're NMD Incorporated and uh, we're actually a technology company here in southern Louisiana. And we recently rolled out an Emerge Interactive platform. We specialize in email, social media, uh, mobile marketing and web marketing. And our platform is used by uh, corporations, both public and private, all across North America. And we're very proud. We're going through a gigantic growth right now. It's a really exciting time for us. What was your reaction when they called out your name as the winner? Uh, I was really pleased. <laughs> there was uh, some tough competition on it. I didn't think I was going to receive the award, so I'm very pleased. Emeticist has 18,000 employees across the country and 600 care centers. What was your reaction when they called out your name as the winner? Uh, we're humbled by the honor of winning the award uh, from the governor. Uh, we see it as important for Louisiana, but also important for the healthcare industry and in helping reduce Medicare costs across the country. The name of the company is New Potential. There are four full-time employees and the uh, company is reprogrammed sales. What was your reaction when they called out your name as the winning company? Well, um, I'm representing my husband and um, very excited and delighted for him. Uh, he's worked very hard and uh, I'm just thrilled for my husband. The name of my company is 20 Gym Labs. Uh, we're based out of Shreveport, Louisiana. We have 11 employees and we are a boutique that specializes in developing apps for iPhone, iPad, and the web for entrepreneurial. What was your reaction when they called out your name as the winning company? Oh, uh, I mean, you always hope, you always try and fool yourself enough to know that you're going to win uh, <laughs> beforehand, but I was pretty shocked, honestly. <laughs> but there was some really great talent that was on the nomination, so um, very proud and, and, you know, reaffirmed my move back to Louisiana. Um, but, yeah, uh, to answer your question, very shocked, yeah. One of the things that's really uh, been unique is that Louisiana technology typically have not gone together and now with the advent of the growth of the technology industry, Louisiana is one of the leading states in the country over the last couple of years in technology employment and technology growth. I think people need to understand that Louisiana is growing rapidly from a technology perspective. We're helping drive uh, knowledge, knowledgeable workers to come into the state. We're also helping universities keep those uh, students and organizations also keep those students from going somewhere else. So we're creating a lot of exposure to the marketplace on what technology means to the state of Louisiana and how much it's grown. If people have questions or like uh, to, to uh, become a member, what should they do? To become a member of the Louisiana Technology Council, you simply can go to our website at ltc-la.org, or you can call our Baton Rouge office or our New Orleans office, and that, uh, that number is 504-304-2910.